So six hundred dollars. Talk to us about kind of like what it looks like today. You know, people uh, t- talk to us a little about your setup. Are you, are you you're not uh, unclogging toilets? You're not running knocking on doors anymore. Kind of tell us your setup and and kind of what your infrastructure looks like around the office. Um. So. First off, I come from the, uh, the professional services consulting world, which is um, all based on people. Uh, and if you get people out of the way, you could get a lot more done and be a lot more efficient. So um, from the beginning, and, and I shouldn't say from the beginning, from, but from the early middle, you know, I really started to have a platform. Um, I really looked for technology that would just simplify things. Um, and really in 2014, I switched to Appfolio. So I was kind of relatively early on the Appfolio curve. They've really taken off and taken over the marketplace. But um, I, uh, I, I knew that you needed to have a platform um, to be able to compete with the, uh, with the large um, um, operators, property management companies. And, um, and, and I go back to the technology because I think we use it right. We use it completely um, and we take advantage of it. So that's one piece of it. Um, the, the, the second piece of it was simply creating a culture within the environment where people would welcome to come in and work. Um, I think that's a big part of, of our secret sauce um, at Drexel is just um, uh, the respect and consideration that we have for our employees. We, we take care of them. We look out for them. We treat them like family. Um, uh, one thing that I always say is, is to my employees, when something comes up, when they have a need, they come first. I, I'm lucky if I come second, um, but I am not first. And, and having that sort of disposition gets you good people, um, uh, it gets people to, to work harder and figure things out. And it just builds a stronger team. Um, so that's another element of it. And then probably the third element of it is that I, um, I knew I did not want to build a big people-based employee organization. So what I did as I started building the company and letting it evolve was I looked for partners and partnerships. So, um, you know, for, We've got a lot of HVAC units and boilers and appliances, um, roofs. Um, so I just really focused, kind of like the employees, but third parties. Um, I focused on establishing great relationships with them, um, integrating them into our operation as if they were employees. So they have access to our platforms so that we were able to scale and take advantage of, of true experts in the different pieces of the puzzle that we need to take care of it. Um, and, uh, and I've sort of built my role is, is really being the conductor of all of those parts to keep it moving and really to keep things out of the way of whoever needs to get something done. So, you know, we need to have cabinets at a place for the installer to put them in. My job is to make sure those cabinets are there so things keep moving. It's just a simple example. 